did the dry lay while Greg's was getting the mix on. This is going to represent the walling stone, so that will continue around at approximately 150. So you've gone for a 100mm walling stone, but it is a chopped finish, not a cut finished or a sawn finish. So it can vary between 100 and 150. So ideally we'll probably go for 155, 160 just to make sure. And remember that's coming out here as well. So in actual fact, your first step is more out here. So there's the face of the stone. So that, that's the thickness of the walling stone between 100 and 150 mil. Let's do the hardest bit of the day, haul it through, and then let's have some fun, Gregster. RIP. Don't bring a brick hammer to a stone party. Lesson learned there. the shape of the stone he wants to fall back this way but I want that razor type join so what you could do is just make sure that's bedded up wedge in a bit of MOT like I have done in the past or do something like that so this is style we love to do pretty much summed up in a singular piece as I touched on yesterday get some of your loose aggregate in the back there so you're not building up the weight too much oh and I hit my riser lovely jubbly
You like that little beauty, Gregster? Yeah. Done a little madness there, mate. I wonder if the people at home can recognise that particular stone. I'll help you. Believe it or not, it's an offcut of the granite coping, the big 50mm granite. So we've got a couple of offcuts. So as you can see, that was a perfect cut edge pitch the front we're gonna have granite accents in the paving so we thought we're not going overboard but just a couple of granite accents in the wall in but yeah super happy with that damn i'm just gonna work that middle bit out but you don't need to see that well, we're losing light quick these days, so we're not quite finished today. Finish up the vlog before we lose light completely. Making some real good progress. You can see the steps starting to take shape now. Thank you very much for watching.